Okay, this is week three, final assessment. Fractional and negative exponents. Question one, you have the quantity, negative two squared raised to the second power. So what I did first was, I uh, look, evaluated here. What is negative two squared? Negative two squared is just simply two, negative two times negative two, which is a positive four. So then I put it in here, put it right there, and end up with four raised to the second power, which is just 16. Problem two, I have nine times four squared, which is nine times four times four, and four times nine is 36, so I have 36 times four, which is 144. Question three, I have 5 plus 3 squared, so I have 5 plus 3 times 3 times 3, so what I have there is 5 plus 3 times 3 is 9, 5 plus 9 times 3, which is 5 plus 27, which is 32. Question 4, I have the square root of 6 times 3 divided by 2, 6 times 3 is 18, so I have the square root of 18 divided by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9, so I have the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Question five, I have two times the quantity five squared minus two to the third. And I take care of what's in my numerator. Five squared is uh, 25 and two to the third is eight. So I have 25 minus eight, which is 17 here. Then I take care of what's in my denominator. So two times 17 is 34 and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So then 3 times 8 is 24. 3 eighths is 24. And 24 divided by 12 is 2. So I have 34 divided by 2, which is 17. Question 6. Take care of what's in my numerator here. 6 plus 9 is 15 times 15 minus 7, which is 8. 8 times 15 is 120. And I take care of what's my exponent. 7 squared is 49. 49 minus 19 is 30. So I have 120 divided by 30. The 10s cancel. So I end up with 12 divided by 3, which is 4 for my final answer there. Question 7. I have... Um, negative 125 raised to a negative two-thirds power. So I rewrote that. What's, what's my base? It's 125. So I have negative 1 times 125 raised. And I break up the exponent here. So I have a negative 1 raised to the two-thirds power. That's going to be the reciprocal of 125, which is 1 over 25 raised to the two-thirds power. I'll break up that, break up that uh, fraction again. And I have and I have here 1 over 25 raised to the one third power squared. So that one third is the same thing as the cube root of 1 over 25 squared. Okay. And uh, the cube root of 1 over 25 is 1 fifth squared. squared. So I end up with negative 1 over 25 for my final answer there. And that was number 7. Let me take a look at number 8. Number
number eight, I have a negative one times a negative 100 raised to a three halves power. So I'll break up this uh, exponent here and have negative 100 raised to the negative one power. That'll be the reciprocal of 100, negative 100, which would be one over negative 100. Okay. And that's the same thing as the square root of negative over 100 raised to the third power. You cannot take the square root of a negative number, so the solution does not exist. And that was number eight. Let's take a look at number nine. You know, for number nine here, okay, I'll use this property here. Okay, so I look at, I'm careful about what is my base and what is the, what is my exponent here. In this case, all of that's my base raised to the one half power. And in this case, just the X is my base. So when I rewrote it, I have x 81 to the one half using this property times x to the one half times three times x to the two thirds. That 81 to the one half is going to be the square root of 81 times x to the one half times three times x to the two thirds. So I can move, move stuff around. So I have nine times three times x to the one half times x to the negative two thirds. Yeah, I can, they have the same basis, so I can combine the exponents. They have different denominators. So one half is the same thing as three six, and two thirds is the same thing as four six there. Okay. And three times nine is 27. So three six minus four six is a negative one six. So 27 times x to the negative one six. And there are my answers there. And that was number nine. Let's take a look at number 10. This one here, we have W, square root of W to the fifth power. And this it, uh, rewrite it so it no longer contains uh, a radical that has a fractional exponent. So I see that that uh, square root becomes to the one half power. So I can multiply those exponents power to a power. Power to a power here. So I have W raised to the five halves power. And that's my answer.